Let's say it quick if it crashes. GF. All right, here we go. Let's get back into drawing. So, let's see. Just making edits here and there. Now, come out. I want to start forming this other sleeve. Make sure I know where the middle section and the chest end before I put in this. And got the jacket pocket kind of coming down like that. And make sure that this these pockets get close up to or closer up to the up to the body. If he's slouching over, I mean, if you have your hands in your pockets, you're not going to have your hands in your pockets and hold them way out here and your jacket kind of flopping open like that. It's kind of weird. But you want to make it close to the body as possible if you want to get kind of a lazy slouch look, you know? Alright, let's do this. Get the pocket there. Get the folds of the sleeve against the pocket. And you kind of get that thing. Kind of get that shape right there. There we go. Alright, that's working. Now, all these lines, although they are important lines, all of them are kind of confusing and you're not sure exactly where things are. So to better, better show that, say, I want to come into... I'm not sure if I should make the jacket darker or my shirt darker. No, let's make my shirt darker because my jacket's supposed to be light cyan. So, start shading in just a little quick hatching. Kind of shows where the shirt is. Yeah, I need to work with that shirt collar better. Show his fur kind of coming up over the collar. And fur patterns, maybe. Going on. But anyway. So we got this Jeff here, and remember the shirt usually comes over the belt line quite a bit. Unless you get your shirt tucked in, but I usually don't. Some people, you know, with uniform, get your get your shirt tucked in and all proper and snazzy looking. But anyway. this tail looking. Ooh, wow. Let me check out my hand. That was weird. Alright, so, and I've got these feet paws. I tend to love doing feet paws. They've taken yes. years to develop to get right. And we've got this squarish shape here. There. Let's emphasize it is a cat. All right. Put in the curves. Put in the curves to show that his individual sections of the paw are there and. Yes, he's open pod. He doesn't have shoes on. I haven't quite figured out how to put shoes on a digital great character, so that is kind of hard. Although I plan to. That would be a really fun thing to design if I just sit down and work at it. So far, I've only gotten to the point where shoes come out and the heel goes like that. But then it kind of looks weird because they're just standing at the fr on the front part of their shoe. But he is bear pod, not B A R E pod. Put paws here. And his shirt. I should draw a Samus symbol on the f on the shirt, cause it'd be awesome. Cause I feel like it. I am a Metroid fan. That was a sloppy Samus symbol, but it works. I guess. Yeah, I have to work. 
work with that later. Yeah. All right. So we've got this sketch going in here. I am not going to ink this and color this. I am going to ink and color the final one, and that's where I'll teach painting colors and shading and working with that kind of stuff. Although most of the time when I sketch, I tend to shade with a bit of hatching and cross hatching and whatnot. So say I just start super light and then I get denser and my lines are closer together just to get that kind of shaded feel of the pants. Because these parts of the pants are under the jacket and the shirt and whatnot, so they're a little more shadow on them. Alright, so we got that going on. And even here, just a slight shadow going on here. I tend to like shading, sketch shading. That's how I learned to shade. And over here, maybe some, maybe, maybe, maybe not. And over here, under the chin, this muzzle comes out. So I kind of got to shade this. Kind of like that, maybe. So that kind of works. music in my head. Alright, so we got our character going on here. That is Jeff. That is exactly how I wanted him to be. And I still have edits, but it's good enough. And at one point, if you are an artist that is always making changes ev all the time, you need to find a point where it looks good enough and stop and go on something else. Because if you stay on, the wo on, on one thing for, for too long, it becomes where you're not learning a variety of where you're not, l it comes to a point where you're not learning the variety and skill set that you probably need and you're just focusing on drawing one one character or one thing and also time constraints sometimes you need to decide it looks good enough I need to submit this so I got my my Jeff here it's supposed to more directly represent me very much so Alright, I like it. I like how it looks. I'm going to use that design in the final. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to go over and start sketching Max, my wolf character. And then in the end, I'm going to put them both together, probably back to back. And this kind of cool pose thing going on. Arms folded back to back kind of thing. Alright, so I got this. And I have my character. And when I like something and I want to finish it off, sometimes I like to go in and thicken the outline. Kind of adds this nice little signature feel to my sketches. And I do this to almost everything in my sketchbook. That's so pretty. Yes, yes, it is. kind of different on the computer because it's a digital interface but works well enough you can kind of see the general gist of the sketch and then uh, yeah kind of see that, that outline a lot more I could make my brush thicker but I don't feel like it 
you know you're you know you're lazy when you're when you're too lazy to go and make your brush thicker on the computer. Or you're just working at a time constraint and you need to get a sketch done and you don't have time. You don't even have time to change your brush size. Because I've seen people like that. And it happens. It gets intense. Alright. Getting closer to done outlining this. Outlining Jeff here. Kind of feels weird saying my name. Both of them, Max and Jeff, but they're my characters, so. So. Started, well, it actually started from a. Realistic. Realistic, well, no. Started from humans. I started doing human anatomy earlier. And I, uh, every, all these sketches I'll post on, on, on DeviantArt for, for people if, they, if you need like reference or something and you just want to look over it and see, oh, that's what he did. Okay. Uh, I'll post them on DeviantArt if that should be helpful. So I've got this outline of him. And I want to accentuate the eyes more. Make sure people know that their eyes and they're Jeff's eyes and he's unique. Unique and he feels bright today. Got a cool looking face here. Start erasing things. Oh, I never drew any, any fur patterns. Actually, he does not have fur patterns. He is yeah. a light tan, solid color okay. cat. I forgot. Very, very light tan, almost white. Not quite white, though. So I got my kitty here. I got Jeff here. There we go. That works. That's cool. I like that. It's good enough. I gotta stop making edits or I'm gonna be on this all day. So, safe. There we go. Oh, alright. Let me stand and stretch for a second. Hang on. Maybe Milky Way can mail for you. If she wants to. She's being a little cat. She didn't yell for me? No. Alright, so we've got our Jeff here. We know we like this Jeff. And let's. Oh, I did this all in one way. That's cool. Um, Take all this and uh, control C, copy it. Hey Carter, I need you to stop being loud, okay? Take this, copy it. I'm going to go to a new document. Not document, uh, canvas. Let's call it a canvas. It feels more painterly. 30 by. Let's do something like this. All right, F. Make sure we can move that around. And let us start drawing. Actually, I didn't need Jeff. I was going to start drawing Max. Hang on a second. Uh, I need to take a little restroom break.
so we have is it is it error is it not working hang on a sec technical difficulties want to see if it's working Hello. let's delete some of that oh it's working okay so I have a character Max I've known him for a very long time created him when I was really young if DeviantArt will actually pull up I can pull up some references for him that'll help me draw him better as well as a few pictures of wolves sorry you guys can't see what I'm doing online but I'll get some pictures in a second So, I've got a couple references for, for Max. So, I've got these references. I'm going to resize them. So we've got all this here and meh. I'm gonna start sketching on top of it. I gotta leave soon, so I'll do as much as I can now. So that beautiful face. Alright. It's got this kind of oval shape in the face. You gotta see the basic shapes. I notice the fur comes out 
a little ways from the basic face. So you want to keep in mind where the base for the cheek really is in comparison to the to the cheek ruffs. And the wolf muzzle is obviously a lot longer than a cat muzzle. It's surprisingly not as not as uh, defined in the nose bridge, so it's kind of got this smooth surface here. But I like to put in my own shapes since they're longer and the nose and this is quite really short in comparison to the cat and you see canines like I said earlier that eyebrow circle that's why I do the eyebrow circle and I put this eyebrow spot and the eye area where the skull has a little hole for the eyes for muscles that cushion the eyes and we've got these cheeks coming coming right there the nose all right I've got to I've got to get off soon I may be able to stream late today and hopefully finish this project oh, signing off whatever you call it Max Wilson